Hi, a couple of weeks ago I already did a video talking about the Torm Dexter. Today I want to go a little bit more in detail in the sound possibilities of this device. Now for those of you who don't know this thing yet, what is it? The Torm Dexter is a pre-amplifier designed for acoustic stringed instruments fitted with a piezo pickup, so for instance a double bass. Now the very special thing about this is that it does not simply amplify or equalize in a normal way your sound. Um, this has the possibility to recreate the sound of your acoustic instrument as if it was amplified through a microphone, but without the negative side effects like bleed from other instruments or, or feedback. Now, how does this work? Before you use the Tone Dexter, the device has to learn what your instrument actually sounds like. So what you do is you plug in your instrument's pickup in here, you plug in a studio microphone in here, and then you go in a training phase, pressing here and here. First you will have a, a setting of the level, of the input level of your microphone, and then it goes auto automatically in a training phase. You play for a couple of minutes just some, some notes in different ranges of your instruments, different uh, dynamics. And after that, you will uh, store this, this thing. Uh, it's, it's called a wave map. So it's basically the, the calculated filter um, that, that the, the Tone Dexter created for your instrument. Once you have this stored, you can use it uh, with your amplifier. So what did I do? I played a, a phrase which sounds like this. And I played it using various settings of this character knob up here. The character knob works in the following way. If you have CH2 set, you have the most acoustic re reproduction of your, uh, your, of your sound. If you set CH0, uh, the sound will have been a little bit processed, a little bit equalized by the device so that it sounds a little bit more focused. Maybe some of you know this, if, if you amplify um, an acoustic bass with a microphone, sometimes the sound is very, very wide, very broad, which is, which is nice, but uh, for, um, to, to hear yourself better on stage, it's nice to have a little more focused sound with maybe more mids or so. Now there is also CH1, which is exactly halfway between the more focused sound CH0 and the real natural sound CH2. Then if you go to the left from 12 o'clock, you have uh, blend settings. These are settings where the tone dexter, the CH0 sound is mixed with the unprocessed pickup sound of your instrument. I will also show you what, this, what the bass sounds like when it's on B65. So it's um, just a little bit pickup mixed with the tone dexter signal. Um, and there is one more thing that I have to explain. The main use of this device is the stage. And for this reason, the uh, wave maps are calculated in such a way that um, frequencies that may cause feedback are filtered out of the of the wave map of the sound. Now, if you don't want this, maybe you want to use this for a studio session, for instance, and you want to do the, the complete equalization yourself. Uh, in that case, all you have to do is set the uh, wave map select knob to 22 before you do the training. Then you do your training totally normally. Then you ha will have a wave map which is totally flat, so with no equalization. This is also very interesting. Some people have found out that they prefer using this for the stage two. And I will 
show you this one phrase played with four different character settings and then again the same phrase with those four character settings but with a wave map uh, recorded on R22. So I hope you liked this video. You can subscribe my channel or visit my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.